So, uh, good day to everyone. Today, we will be discussing about plane geometry. So, uh, geometry in general helps us in deciding no, what material to use. No? So, uh, what design to make and also plays a vital role in the construction process itself. No? So, different houses and uh, buildings are uh, built in different uh, geometric uh, shapes no? to give a new look as well as to provide proper ventilation inside the house. Uh, and different art forms are made uh, by joining geometric uh, shapes uh, together. No? And uh, engineers, architects, and builders use geometry to calculate the uh, area, volume, uh, before they start uh, making plans uh, for uh, different structures. So, uh, for our learning objectives, at the end of the presentation, the students should be able to uh, discuss the fundamental principles and concepts regarding plane geometry, evaluate problems related to plane geometry. So, here is our subtopics under uh, plane geometry. We will be discussing uh, definitions uh, about a uh, circle, a triangle, a quadrilateral, Parallelogram, rectangle, square, rhombus, trapezoid, uh, polygons, and other geometric figures. So let us start with the definition. Plane geometry is defined as the study of figures on a two-dimensional surface, that is, uh, on a plane. Uh, basically, the word around us is obviously uh, three-dimensional, no? having width, depth, and uh, height. No? So, while uh, solid geometry, no? this one, uh, deals with the object that is in that space, no? three-dimensional space, such as uh, cubes, cylinders, uh, spheres, etc. This one, plane geometry, deals with the object that is uh, on a flat surface, no? such as triangle, hexagon, no, quadrilateral, pentagon, star, uh, point, five-pointed stars, etc. No, that can be drawn on a flat uh, piece of paper. And then, as we have said, uh, you can think of the plane as a piece of paper uh, with no thickness at all. So, technically, uh, a plane doesn't end and uh, at the edge of the paper, no, it will continue forever. So, let us proceed with uh, our subtopic under circle. Uh, circle, uh, it is a locus of all points. When we say locus, it is a set of all points, no? Uh, equidistant from a central point. So, as you can see here on the figure at the right side, uh, circle is defined as the point, no? The distance uh, set of points that is... Uh, have equal distance no, from a uh, central point, no, just as this one. So, this one have the same distance with the radius. No? This one, the same distance, etc. So, radius is a line segment, this one, no, from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. Diameter is a line segment from uh, one point, no, passes uh, through crossing, no, this one, crossing the center, uh, to another point on the uh, circle itself. Uh, diameter is twice the length of the radius. So, what this one is another radius, this one is another radius. Chord, uh, it is a line segment whose end points lie on the circle. This one is a chord. Uh, whose line seg it is a line segment whose end points, this one's the end points, lie on the circle itself. Tangent, this one is a tangent line. It is a line that touches a curve no, in one, only one point. No. Second, this one is a second. Uh, it is a line that passes through two different points on the circle. This one is the, uh, one point and another point. Circumference, no, it is a linear distance around the outside of the closed curve of circular object. So it is also known as the perimeter of the circle.
Now for the theorems uh, on uh, circle, no? uh, on inscribed angle, this one, inscribed angle is formed when two second line, second is extended, no? uh, of a circle intersect on the circle. It is also defined, this one is a chord, two chords sharing the endpoints. So the measurement of angle A, B, C, this one, the measurement of this angle is equivalent to one half the measurement of the arc AC. So this one, uh, this angle is equivalent to one half of this arc length. Central angle, this one is a central angle. So it is an angle whose vertex is at the center. Vertex at point O and whose side passes through the pair of points on the circle. This one is the pairs, thereby subtending an arc between those two points. This one is the arc. So the measurement of this angle is equivalent to one half the measurement of this arc length given by the formula. For theorems on circle under intersecting seconds, so this one is a second. No? This uh, both of this line segment is a second. So if two second intersect, this one intersect outside the circle, uh, the angle theta is formed. No, by two seconds is measured by one half the difference of the intercepted arc. So in symbols, the following formula applies. Um, so basically, uh, in measuring the angle theta, uh, it is equivalent to one half the measurement of this arc length less the measurement of this arc length. And if you want to find the distance or the length of one of the uh, line segments, no? M, MN or NQ, etc., now, you will need to apply the following uh, relationships. No? So, basically, MO multiplied by MN, this line segment, is equivalent to MQ multiplied by MP. For intersecting chords, now if two chords, this one, uh, uh, both of them is chord, no? as defined on the uh, previous slides. No? So, if two chords intersect at one point, such as this one, inside the circle, the product of the line segments through the intersection are the same. So, in measuring this angle, uh, it is equivalent to one half the measurement of this arc length, AD, less the measurement of this arc length, CE. And if you want uh, to find the length of one of the line segments, so, either BD, AB, uh, CB, BE, etc. No? So, you need to apply the following uh, uh, relationships. No? AB multiplied by BE is equivalent to CD multiplied by BD. Uh, for intersecting tangent and second, uh, if tangent, this one is a tangent line, and this one is a second line. No? Intersect outside uh, circle, the angle formed by the tangent and second line is measured by one half the difference of the intercepted arcs. So, in symbols, this one's symbol, no? So, measuring this angle equivalent to one half um, this arc length, measure this arc length, less this measure this arc length. And then, if you want to find the uh, uh, one line segment, no, BD, uh, uh, CD, uh, BC, and uh, or uh, AC, no, you will uh, find the following relationship. Now, CD squared, squared this line segment is equivalent to CB and CA. So, theorems on a circle under sector. So, a sector is a part of the interior circle bounded by two radii and an arc. So, this one is a sector. This one is full circle. Defined as the sector. And this one is a segment. That will be discussed on the next slide. So, in um, finding the arc length, finding this arc length, S is equivalent to the radius of a circle multiplied by the central angle of a circle, which is 
in regions. No? So, if the angle uh, on the problem is in degrees, you need to convert it into regions first. No? So, basically, the formulation for that is area is equivalent to one half, uh, the radius multiplied by S, or uh, this one, one half uh, R squared theta. And for segment, this one, the shaded portion. So, uh, the region between the chord, this one is a chord of a circle and its associated arc. So, finding for the area of the segment is equivalent to sector, this one, the whole of this, minus the triangle. So, we can find for the area of the sector. 1 half R squared theta minus 1 half R squared sine theta, which is the uh, area for triangle. So, area of a circle is defined as area pi r squared given the radius is uh, in terms of diameter uh, pi d squared over 4. The circumference of a circle in terms of radius is 2 pi r uh, in terms of the diameter no, since the diameter is twice the radius, so pi d. Uh, for the radius of circles, uh, here is the circumcenter. So, it is a circle cir circle, cir circumscribing a triangle. No? Uh, so, it is always passes at, uh, at three vertices, this one. Uh, its center is at a point uh, where all of the perpendicular bisectors, this one, triangle sides meet. So, in computing the following, no, the radius for this one, uh, where the 80 is the area of the triangle, in computing the radius of circle, uh, given that the uh, circle is circumscribing a triangle, no? given uh, here is the in symbols. No? So, radius of this circle is equivalent to A, B, C, no? the perimeter no? of the triangle itself, no? uh, the sides of the triangle, O divided by 4 uh, multiplied by the area of that triangle. In circle, no? so uh, this one is the in circle. It is a circle inscribed. No? Inscribed. So basically, the circle is inside the triangle. No? Inscribed in a triangle. So it is the largest circle uh, that, did, that will fit uh, uh, and it just touches each each side of the triangle. So the center is called the in, sin, in center, and it's where each uh, the angle bisector meets. So the angle bisector. So this line bisects this angle, or uh, this angle is equivalent to this angle, but similarly. So the radius no, of this circle is provided in the following formula: the area of the triangle itself divided by S, no, where S is equivalent to uh, the semi-perimeter, no? A plus B plus C over 2. A plus B plus C over 2. X circle. So, uh, X circle, it is also known as the x circle of having the triangle, no? So, it is a circle lying outside the triangle. So, here is a circle outside the triangle, no? which is tangent to one of its side and tangent to the exteriors of the other two. So, in symbols, we have the following formula to compute the uh, radius of this circle. So, area of the triangle over a semi-perimeter minus A, no? RB, uh, area of triangle over S minus B, RC, area of triangle over S minus C. Thank mm -hmm. you.